just want to take a moment to go over some of these complex problems that you might run into in your ART registry exam. Uh, for example, number one up here. Uh, these might be phrased in word problems, or you may see it like this, where you need to um, basically fill in the missing value. So what they're saying is for uh, exposure one on the left here, this uh, series of technical factors was used. 10 mass, 50 inch SID, 5 to 1 grid, and 60 KVP. And what they're asking for the second set of exposure values is what mass would be required if you changed your SID to 40 inches, uh, 12 to 1 grid ratio used, and then you up your KV to 69. So to answer this problem, you need to set up, um, well, there's a couple ways, actually. You could do this individually, um, using 10 as your mass 1, and then working out each, each variable change as a separate equation. Or what I prefer to do is to do this in one single equation. And for that, I'm going to move my screen a little here. You need to be able to have your formulas set up in this fashion here. So if you notice, over on the left here, um, the distance equation we have is mass 2 equals mass 1 times d2 squared over d1 squared. It's important to have mass 2 by itself on one side of the equal sign if you're going to use the single equation format for how to solve this. Um, if you notice, the pattern is very similar. Mass 2 equals mass 1 times something, uh, whether it's distance, grid factor change, uh, power factor, meaning your generator, uh, or down, down below, I have screen speed. Uh, they did remove film screen uh, material off of the registry exam quite a while back, uh, maybe a year ago now or so. But I'm including this because a lot of the practice exam books still have this, and I want you to still be able to utilize this um, for practice, um, as well as you never know. I mean, they might, they might throw one of these in there on the registry exam. They, they shouldn't, but, but you never know. Um, Anyway, so once you have these formulas set up the way you do, it's real easy to do this in one equation. So we're going to start these uh, with problem one here. We're going to say mass 2, same format we're using on the left, equals mass 1, which is 10, times, we have a distance change next, uh, the second set of variables. Uh, we're going from 50 inch SID to 40. So we're going to look at our formulas here. We want d2 squared over d1 squared. So I'm going to put 40 squared over, uh, what is this, 50, 50 squared. Um, and then we're going to a grid ratio change. So we're going from a 5 to 1 to 12 to 1. Now you need to have the grid conversion factors memorized. Grid factor 2 is going to be 5 over grid factor 1, which is going to be 2. And then we have one more change for this problem. We're going from 60 to 69 kV. Well, we don't have this problem on the left, but we all know that if we go an increase in 15% kVp, uh, we must half our mass to maintain density. So I'm going to multiply it by one half in order to get the kV conversion there. So the other part to this, now I'm strictly going to work in this area of the problem right now. The other part to this that's really important is you have two numbers that are squared in the numerator and denominator. You can reduce anything in the numerator and denominator that is, that is not squared. So those are the ones I want to work out first. I can reduce to 4 fifths, and then I want to square it, which gives us 16 over 25. And then I can reduce from there. So I can say uh, this is 1, this is going to be 5. Here I can go this is 1. That's 2. This 2 is going to cross out with this one over here. And then up here I have 8. Um, and that's 1. So when it all comes down to it, I multiply everything. 1 times 8 times 1 times 1 is, is 8. Over, this would be over 1. So 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. So mass 2 equals 8. So that would be our answer here. And we've maintained density. All of that in one equation. Which is really nice. Um, 
you can always do this with a calculator, but I always recommend reducing. As long as you know how to reduce and the rules for reducing before you multiply everything out, uh, you should be okay. So let me erase all this. We're going to attack problem two, which has a lot more variables. They have 400 MA. Um, you have to find the missing MA. So basically, we have to find, um, find out what the mass is first, and then at the end, we're going to find out the MA based on the mass that was, that was uh, provided. So mass 1 is going to be 20. So let's set up our problem. So we're going to say mass 1 equals 20. And I did that by multiplying 400 times a 20th of a second times, we have our distance change next. Um, we're going from 60 to 40. The equation is d2 over d1, so we're going to do 40 squared over 60 squared. Uh, then we're doing the grid ratio change. We're going grid factor 2 over grid factor 1. So grid factor 2 is 5 over grid factor 1. 8 to 1 is a 4. So we're going to say times 5 over 4 times we have screen speed. Here we're going screen speed 1 over 2. So we have 600 over 400. I'm going to run out of room here, aren't I? All right, so I've moved over, giving myself some room. Um, so we already did this guy. Then we're going from a single phase 2 pulse machine to a three phase 12 pulse machine. If we look at our formula, we're going power factor one over power factor two. So power factor one is two, power factor two is four. And then finally we have an increase in KV approximately 15%, so we're gonna half our mass. Let's move this to the middle here, just to give us some space. Okay, and I might even change colors for this too. All right, so again, we have to square these first. This is 2 thirds squared, which is going to be 4 ninths. And now I can reduce to everything else. 600 over 400 is 3 halves. Um, where do I want to go? I'll start left to right here. So we have a 4 and the 20 here. I'm going to do 1, 5. And I have the 9 here. This is going to be 3. It's going to be 1. Then I have a 2 here that's going to cancel out with that 2. Ah, where else can I go? There's a 4 here and a 4 there. And I got 5, 1. 5, 1, 1, 1. So 5 times 5, let's do this. Mass 2 equals 25 over 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 2 over 6. And what does that come out to be? 4.16. That's our mass 2. Now we're not done yet. If you notice, it's asking for MA. So if you use your egg, like I like to use my egg, mass equals MA times time. So I'm going to do, I'm looking for uh, MA. So if I cover MA with my finger, it's mass divided by seconds. So MA equals 4.16 divided by, you could say 1 30th, or you can multiply times the reciprocal. 4.16 times 30 equals 125 MA. So just to review, we set the problem up according to this style of formula for each variable. Mass 2 equals mass 1 times, uh, and whatever the conversion is for each variable here. This was distance, this was uh, grid factor, screen speed, 
uh, what was the other one, power supply, and then this one half was a result of increasing the KVP 15%. To maintain density, we halved the mass. Reduce, and then you get uh, mass two, and then after mass two is gotten, we need to look at the question again. It's not asking for mass. It gives you a time. You have to find the MA that they're asking for. Um, and you can finally do that now that you have mass two value. I hope this has helped. Feel free to add in the comments if you have any questions uh, or if there's anything that's unclear about this, I'm happy to answer the questions you have. Thanks again.